Today we're at the Owens Valley Radio Observatory in wonderful Southern California in the middle of the desert and we're going to discuss SETI. <music> The search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Mankind, if you see my petroglyph videos, 13 moons and Skyrock, that's filmed north of here in a secret valley. Those petroglyphs were some of man's earliest recognition of the cosmos above. And it just wasn't the Mono people or Native Americans anywhere in North America or South America or Africa, or the British Isles, or Asia, humans across the planet have recognized the heavens as something magnificent, something wonderful, something spiritual to behold. <clears throat> we have made movies about it, written novels about it, written love poetry about it. We have chiseled the stories of the stars into rocks. We have built shrines with tons and tons of solid stone and since all of that time all of that time we've always wondered are we alone when we started talking about a being named Ra or a being named Thor or the coyote god or the constellation in the sky we've always wondered about these beings that live in the sky are we alone? Who are they? Why do they look down upon us? There's reams of literature and folklore and storytelling that is fascinating to, to, to absorb, just, just fascinating to read and, and watch and listen to about people other than ourselves. And what's really fascinating is our reflection of those People, the coyote gods that live in the sky. Personally, I think it says more about us than the coyote gods up in the sky. But from a scientific point of view, we have to employ first principles thinking, the scientific method, to see if we can find real evidence of other civilizations and not of this world. And that's what SETI was about. That's what SETI continues to be about. And with every step we take in terms of science and, and instruments that we launch into space, places like here at the um, Owens Valley Radio Observatory with their uh, Stair 2 antennas, we try to answer so many questions, sometimes all at the same time, about what's out there. What does it mean? What do we not know? And we always look for others. There's lots of things we have to overcome. The Fermi paradox. You know, that contradiction given name to Enrico Fermi. You know, if there's all these billions of stars and there are all these billions of galaxies and there's all these billions of Earth-like planets, well, we should be up to our necks in aliens. Where are they? We don't know. With the Drake Equation, there's all of these stars and all of these stars with planets and all of these stars with life and all of these stars that have life that grow to intelligent species and all these uh, intelligent species that uh, develop a technology, all of these uh, species that actually broadcast electromagnetic energy into the universe. Where are they? Sidebar, I'm not discounting the uh, recent revelations from the... Uh, Office of Naval Intelligence saying that the United States government is in possession of a craft not of this earth or the Tic Tac videos. Like Dr. Sagan said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. A memo from the Office of Naval Intelligence isn't that. We got to look harder. We've, we have, as scientists, we have a higher level of credulity we have to maintain. We have higher uh, hurdles we have to jump. And we have to be completely transparent. We got to throw all of our data out on the uh, table. What do you guys think? What do you, what do you guys over there think? Tell me. What do you make of the data? That's how science is done. And SETI's a tough one. Now, now SETI, 
is one of mankind's most remarkable searches. I mean, nothing could be more consequential to our own daily lives with the knowledge that there are civilizations out there that actually had worse television programs than we do. I mean, wouldn't that be of some comfort to you, right? I mean, have you seen some of the stuff that came out of the 70s? Wow, Kazawi, Bozo's kind of excited. Why somebody even bothers to put that on YouTube, I don't know. Why are there subreddits for these crappy TV shows and with hundreds of users? Why? I don't understand. So maybe it'd give us hope that there's somebody out there in the universe has crappier TV shows than us. You know, there's there there's a uh, effort underway by uh, citizen scientists and scientists and just people around the world trying to get America to rebuild Arecibo. Arecibo put out the most important message the SETI community has ever done, and that was the Arecibo message. As you can see here, it was <clears throat> a series of blocks. It was a blocked matrix showing all about us, how we send signals, the, the science of parabolas, uh, pictures of ourselves, where we live, we have a double helix or uh, organic uh, biology. And we sent it out with those Arecibo we have not heard back from since. In the very shortest amount of time it would take to get to some other planet where we think there may be a planet, it's still going to take dozens and dozens and dozens of decades traveling at the speed of light for them to even receive it, if they are there at all. We just don't know. There has been a lot of uh, positive work done for the SETI project. There's the WOW signal you know, that came from the Ohio State SETI program, something we have never seen before. We've never seen since. We don't know what it means. Was it really a fast radio burst? We don't know nor do we have the funding to really find out. Uh, UC Berkeley uh, started the uh, SETI at Home project. It was wildly successful. Uh, so much so they've got more data than they can look at these days. They had a kind of mothballed the program. But now that same software is used to uh, help fold proteins, which is mathematically crazy complicated. So that's another good thing that's come out of the SETI program. We've learned a lot. We haven't found ET yet, but we have learned a lot, and that is at least something. But the SETI program will continue through private funding, through ham radio operators that build their own radio telescope, hobbyist, citizen scientist, amateur radio astronomers, godforsaken grad students, bless your hearts. We're all doing this work together, and it's not finished until we get a signal, and we may never get a signal. Again, research has to continue. And that's it here from the Owens Valley Radio Observatory. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, please subscribe. If you've got any questions, drop those in the comments below. And special shout out to all my uh, patrons over on the uh, Patreon uh, page. I really do appreciate all your support. Without you, I couldn't travel all over America doing these science videos. So until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye-bye.